everyone, it's me, Natalie Butler, Independent Sales Representative, National Recruiter, and Leader with Avon. So this week, I'm here to do something a little bit different. If you've been following my blog, you know I have Avon Chronicles, which is where I speak firsthand experience on things that I've learned as an Avon representative, but then I also share some information that I've learned from other Avon representatives. So this video today is going to be a video edition of the Avon Chronicles. I'm going to try to keep this as quick as possible because I do understand that you have other things that you could be doing at this time. And also because I don't want my Note 7 to set on fire. So moving right along. Um, one thing that I have uh, learned from experience is something else that I see other Avon representatives struggle with is this newfound freedom. And um, what I mean by that is if you're an employee, you have a set set of rules and things that you should do. And there's even contingency or backup plans. If this doesn't work, then you do this. If that doesn't work, then you do that. You know, there's a set standards of rules and expectations and a guide that teaches you what to do in most situations. And that's going to be a little bit different when you're coming over into becoming your own boss or an independent sales representative, a sales consultant, whatever you want to give yourself the title for. And because we are now newly independent and we found this newfound freedom, sometimes we set unrealistic expectations of reality. And what I mean by that is we think that everything is going to be perfect. And I am here to tell you that perfection is a myth. Nothing in life is perfect, first and foremost. Think back when you followed a recipe to the T and it still didn't come out the way you wanted it to. Or if you were hooking up a wireless router or a printer and you went step by step and for some reason your laptop still doesn't connect to the printer. Nothing in life is perfect. So it's one of those challenges where you at some point, you actually have to constantly remind yourself of this because sometimes when things start to go good, we get ahead of ourselves and thinking that everything is going to be perfect every step of the way. Or when things are bad, it's just like the world is crushing down on us because we thought that it was going to be perfect in the beginning. It's like, oh, I'm newfound freedom. Nothing can go wrong. I determine my destiny. And it's a very big struggle and even sometimes to the day to this day i still struggle with that myself and i'm here to tell you and to tell myself too that nothing is perfect you know nothing is perfect and nothing not avon not a corporate job not children nothing in this world is perfect and that's something that you have to constantly remind yourself of if not there's going to be so much of a big struggle. It's going to be discouraging. And sometimes it's, it just becomes overwhelming and to the point where you just think you can't do it anymore. And um, one of the ways that I have personally found to cope with this and to actually move forward is you do have newfound freedom. Take advantage of that. You know, begin to start thinking differently. The times where you were at work and you asked your supervisor or your boss a question and you were like, well, I could have come up with a better answer than that. Now's the time to use those skills to come up with a better solution. So to be successful, in my opinion, you have to be able to think independently because you're not going to have someone that's going to tell you every single thing to do. You're going to have to think creatively. And by creatively, I mean being able to solve problems. And then you're also going to need to be able to think quickly. Um, you're In order to be successful, think about when you're playing like poker. I'm a poker player. But poker or um, anything, if or even what Albert Einstein said, um, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. If you quickly assess the situation and you realize it's fail after fail after fail after fail and you're doing the same thing, at some point you need to think, okay, this isn't working. Why isn't it working? And then determine what the best solution is to get it to working. 
So um, I'll give you a prime example. I conduct Facebook parties and I have a lot of people send me um, emails, send me Facebook messages saying, hey, I want to know how to do a Facebook party. And the most I do is I give them suggestions on a guide to follow. And the reason why I do that is not because I want to be stingy with the information. No, it's not that. It's just that it's not a one size fits all model. A lot of my success has been able to adapt to the situation, adapt to the different people. So if I'm in a party and I realize I'm not getting enough participation from the group, I'm going to ask a question that's going to get participation. I'm going to throw a game out there. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the result that I want. So um, if, like for example, if I have people that like to um, laugh and joke. I do more laughing and joking. If I have people that are more straightforward, hey, I don't want to hear any of that. Just get to the point. That's exactly what I do. I get to the point. You know, I follow what the group is doing and that's what makes it more successful is because I am reading into people and I'm building that rapport by showing them that yes, I understand and I'm flexible. And a lot of that is going to come with this type of territory. So there's not going to be a one-size-fits-all model. For example, if you look at any of the top selling Avon representatives or the top leadership representatives, you'll see that each person has their own style and it works for them. There's well, there's nothing that you know is wrong with their style. It's just that because in order to be successful with this, you have to be consistent. And when you are consistent and you are yourself, then it's so much easier to follow and to keep doing. If you find yourself struggling because you're trying to follow this role model or that role model, eventually it is going to become overwhelming and you're gonna be like, you know what, this isn't for me. But the key is to be yourself and to realize that you aren't perfect, this isn't going to be perfect either. I hate to say it like that, but it kind of is what it is, you know. That's the part of this process is learning and growing as individuals. And that's something that I did not expect. I thought, oh, okay, I just get this newly found freedom. I could do whatever I want. I didn't know that a lot of this was going to involve me learning more about myself and then learning more about other people and then being able to find a way to make that coexist or mingle and get the results that I wanted. And a lot of this is going to come with, you know, self-assessment or analyzing yourself. Sometimes you're not going to like the answers that you come up with for yourself, but a lot of that is just a growing process. And um, I just wanted to make sure that I touch on that. Yeah, touched on that point too. I still write down notes. But um, a lot of it is just going to be a learning process process and when you're in this business you have to put your thinking cap on and take away the virtual reality glasses where just everything looks perfect and just understand that it's a learning process everything has a learning curve and in order to be successful you have to be consistent but then you also have to be able to solve those problems as they come along no one else is going to be able to solve the problems because no one else is going to be in that exact same situation as you are um a single parent of three children may not have the same luxuries and freedoms as someone that is not a parent where that person can just get up roll out of bed and go do whatever they want to do and then you also have to take into consideration your lifestyle you have to take into consideration your personality i am a very light-hearted person i do not believe in dwelling on the past and i do not believe in feeding negativity so um some people won't like my personality. Some people will love it, you know. It just is what it is. But you have to think about your personality, what fits best with you, um, and just try to find a way to revamp and rework and understand that that's what it's going to be. It's going to be constant fine-tuning so you find your perfect solution. So um, I hope this information helps. I want to thank you so much for watching. No 7 didn't explode. Have a good day.